My name is Troy Sumitomo. I'm the owner of Five Axis, and uh, we've been involved with Scion since day one when they first came to the United States with the XB. So we've built numerous concept cars for them and numerous show cars. So this year, Scion is going to be launching at the New York Auto Show the new Scion TC. Because of our involvement with, with Scion in the past, uh, they came to us and said, hey, can you guys kind of put your own spin on TC, make it really aggressive? So since the, the most visual part of a vehicle is the exterior of the car, we're going to really focus a lot on that. Um, and given the time that we have, we have to really be systematic on how we do this. So rather than do a lot of wide body additional stuff where it's going to actually require a lot of modification to the existing body, we're going to do a lot of add-on stuff. So we're doing little fender flares, you know, front rear bumper attachments on the bottom. So again, not really changing the overall shape of the bumpers or anything, just adding to them. But in the end, it'll, it'll look kind of like a cohesive package. So the most challenging part of this whole program is definitely going to be the schedule. This car, we're going to have basically three weeks, three to four weeks to actually take this car and convert it into the show car. So we're going to be working day and night on these things, trying to get them done. It's a huge challenge, but my team's ready for it. And, uh, you know, as long as nothing goes wrong, we should be able to make it in the nick of time. The TC was just delivered to us uh, a couple days ago, so what we're doing now is we, we want to take a look at the interior because that really was the part that we had no idea, one, what it looked like from a design standpoint, and two, what the condition was. Unfortunately, this is a pre-production car, meaning that the interior panels don't have the grain texture, some of the fabrics, and some of the colors that would have been in, in a production car, so what that means is that we have to make sure that we address that stuff because it is going to be in a major auto show, and so the interior needs to look up to par, so that, that's going to really be our, our next challenge is to really figure out what we can do on that interior. Okay, one of the most noticeable things on the exterior of a vehicle is always the wheels and tires and then the ride height. So for this car, we're going to take some of the R5AD, R5Fs and uh, do a real aggressive fitment. And they'll be 20 inches in diameter. We'll wrap that with some Yokohama tires. And then on the brakes, we're going to put a big brake kit, uh, something custom uh, using TRD components. And then on the suspension end, we're working with Tain with a custom set of coilovers allowing us to uh, set that final ride height at the end, which is really important to achieve the proper stance of the vehicle. Because on the interior we're going to be replacing all the materials and stuff, we have to remove the complete interior from the car, including the headliner. And what we're going to do is uh, we're going to keep the same basic physical shapes of the seats, but we're going to recover them uh, using both Eco-Design suede from uh, Ultra Suede as well as some leather. From the exterior standpoint, uh, what we need to do is we need to prep this car for paint. So that means take off the major elements like the bumpers, tail lights, you know, mirrors, door handles, anything that, that would get in the way of a color change. And then once we get those parts off, then we can start preparing the car for the paint. Because this is a factory vehicle, uh, it probably doesn't need too much body surface work, meaning there shouldn't be any dents or low spots in the surface. Because of the time limit, we're going to try and prep the vehicle and fit parts at the same time. The one thing that we're doing with these parts, instead of doing a wide body where we blend panels in, we're going to have parts that just add to the vehicle. So that way we can prep it, fit the parts, and you know not have to do any blending surfaces and stuff like that. Once everything's uh, complete, everything's fitted, then we sand everything to 600 and then we seal it and prepare it for the final paint color. Okay, now we're at the paint stage of the TC, and what we're doing is we're doing a three-stage process. Three stages meaning there's a base coat, a mid coat, and then a clear coat. Uh, basically, it's, it's kind of like a candy, meaning that the base coat kind of evens out kind of the color. The mid coat is the candy, which is, in theory, transparent, and then the top coat, which is a clear coat. So we chose this color because this car is very sport-like, it's, it's kind of racy, and the color red, I mean, as we know, a candy apple red is always a color that's kind of associated with kind of performance or high-end show cars. So it will change drastically from what we see now uh, when we put the candy coat on. So we got the TC done. We actually got it done with a little time to spare. We buttoned it up at 12.30 at night. It wasn't due till eight in the morning. Got our eight hours of sleep in. And uh, you know what? It couldn't have happened without the great efforts of all my team, everybody involved. Seriously, three and a half weeks to build a car. That's amazing. I can't believe we did it. But again, these guys, I mean, they know what they're doing. They stayed focused and they pulled it off. The car looked great. Everybody was happy.